How's going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Here in today's video, let me go ahead and show you how you can lock any application on your iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro or iPhone 14 Plus or any other iPhone with iOS 16. Now, as you guys can see that there isn't a direct option available for your iPhone to lock any application here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you cool tricks that will let you lock any application that you want. And the best thing is you don't need to install any third-party applications. Now to log in application, the first thing that you want to do here, you need to open up the shortcut application on your iPhone. So here, this is the shortcut application for my iPhone. I'll just go ahead and open this up here. Now you have to tap on automation. Once you come over here, just go ahead and tap on the plus icon. And here you will see the new automation option will come up here. Just go ahead and tap create a personal automation. Tap on there. Now you got to scroll down here and you have to tap on app. Just go ahead and tap on there. And here you need to choose the app that you want to lock. You can choose as many applications that you guys want to lock on your iPhone. So here, I'll just go ahead and open up my photos, which is important because there's a lot of my photos available. I'll just go ahead and choose this application from here and tap done. We can choose multiple apps like I said earlier. Now make sure you're actually choosing this option called ease open. Now just go ahead and tap on next year. Now you have to tap an action. Just go ahead and tap add action here. Now you have to type start timer. Now go ahead and choose this option called start timer. Just go ahead and tap on there. Now by default, it is actually set to five minutes. So you have to just go ahead and tap on there and you have to actually set it one. And on the minute, you have to choose second. Now just go ahead and tap on next from there. And also make sure to turn up this feature called ask before running. Just go ahead and turn this feature up. Tap on don't ask. Now also make sure to turn up this option called notify when run. Just go ahead and tap done here. Now you're almost set. So simply get out of here and open up the timer application from your device. Just go ahead and open up the clock application because that's where the timer is. Now once you come to the timer option, go ahead and tap when the timer ends. Well, by default, it actually set up with a ringtone, but you have to scroll down here and choose this option called stop playing, tap set. Now you're all good to go. Well, once you've set everything on your iPhone here, you gotta come and open up this application that you've just locked. Well, if I open up my photo here, you'll see the timer will open and it will see the lock icon right here. That means my device is locked. Now also make sure you're actually using either a face ID or a locks so that every time you just open up your device, it asks for the lock here. So as you guys can see now, if I just open up my phone here, it is asking me for the password. So if I enter my password here, now it is letting me use the application that I wanted to open on my iPhone. All right, guys, as you guys can see now, if I open up other application from here, it actually letting me do anything that I wanted to do with the other application here. But if I open up the photo, which I've just locked to my iPhone, it actually, well, shows me the timer and lock my device because I actually set the lock for this individual application. In a similar way, you can actually follow to unlock any application on your iPhone with iOS 16. And this is how you can do it. I hope you find this video useful, guys. If you think so, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.